This problem asks you to find the area of a triangle determined by three points, points P, Q, and R, and to find a unit vector perpendicular to the line P, Q, R. So please know that the area of a triangle is one half times the magnitude of the product. So you want to begin by finding the vectors. So in this case, we have three points. You want to find vector PQ and vector PR, starting with vector PQ. To find PQ, you just do terminal minus initial, so 0 minus 2, which is negative 2, 0 minus minus 2, which is positive 2, negative 2 minus 0, which is negative 2. Same thing for PR, terminal minus initial 0 minus 2 is negative 2 0 minus minus negative 2 is 2 2 minus 0 is 2 so now that you have pq and pr you want to find the cross product of the two so write the pq terms and then write the pr terms and then find the determinants Starting with i, you have 2, 2, 2, negative 2, minus j, you have negative 2, 2, negative 2, 2, plus k, which is negative 2, negative, oh, negative 2, 2, negative 2, and 2. Yes. J. All right, everything looks good. Now you find i, two times two is four, minus two times negative two is negative four, minus j, two times negative two is negative four, minus negative two times negative two is four, plus k, Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, minus negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So you will have 8i minus negative 4 minus 4, negative 8. Negative and a negative over here is a positive, plus 8j plus negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so 0k. Zero so this will be vector pq cross prod pr okay now you find the magnitude of this so to find the magnitude you simply find the square root of the term squared so 8 squared plus 8 squared equals 8 squared plus 8 squared is 128 so you get square root of 128 so this is the magnitude of the cross product now you want to find one half of this so one half times square root of 128 will be equal to plug that into a calculator square root 128 over 2 you get 4 root 2 so this is the area of a triangle determined by points P, Q, and R. Now set that aside because you are going to find the unit vector perpendicular to the plane now. And to find a unit vector perpendicular to a plane, it the unit vector will either go into the same direction of the cross product or the opposite direction. So if you are given on a test, let's say option A, remember how the cross product is 8i plus 8j plus 0k, okay? Remember that this is the vector from cross product. So if you were given example 1 over 6, i plus 2j plus k b to b 1 over 3 19 these are just 
random values, okay? If you are given this, these are the unit vectors, and you have to pick a unit vector that is perpendicular to this plane, PQR. And if you know that the unit vector perpendicular to the plane PQR will either go into the same direction as the cross product or in the opposite direction, it will simply be C, right? Because it's definitely not A or B because A and B has K terms, but C does not have a K term. And in this vector, it does not have a K term as well. So. If you want to find a unit vector perpendicular to the k to the plane, if you had to choose between a, b, and c, it would be c.